also wanted to show you guys, because um, I get asked a bunch about this all the time, picture settings on the TV. What kind of, uh, what kind of uh, settings do I need to get, or what settings do I need to use on this TV to get the most out of the picture? Uh, and I'll kind of show you this. There's two ways to get into the menu to set the TV up for the best picture on it possible. Uh, but I like using content to sort of judge that. So if you got your content playing, you can hit the action menu again. And then at the top of the screen, your picture adjustments, et cetera, are gonna pop up. So go down to the picture menu and then it'll open up this door here on the right-hand side and it'll tell you, uh, hey, you know, these are the, this is the preset mode you're in, your color, et cetera, et cetera. So my recommendations are picture mode set to standard. Sony spends a lot of money in time engineering, calibrating the TVs before they leave the factory. Standard mode is sort of the quasi-calibrated mode and let her rip. I would leave the auto picture mode alone, set that to off, excuse me. Uh, brightness and color, again, those are gonna be appropriate to the environments that you're in, but if there's one single adjustment that you're gonna make to this TV other than doing the standard picture mode, it's to turn the light sensor off. Look at the difference in the picture quality of the TV between the two. So what the light sensor is supposed to do on paper is judge the ambient light in the room and give you light output based on the ambient light in the room. Really what it's doing is saving you from the best picture that you could have on the TV and the most consistent picture uh, that you can have on the TV set. So by default, this is set to on. Again, I would recommend if you're trying to get consistent light output from the television, turn the light sensor off. The TV is gonna look uh, the best that it can look uh, based on your calibration because you've got a consistent light output as opposed to this constantly variable uh, light output from the TV. So light sensor off, TV mode to standard. And if you really wanna get in here and dig around in the TV set, uh, you know we've got your brightness, contrast, gamma, black level, all those things. I'm not gonna drill down into that today, uh, but I will show you here that if you're doing an ISF type calibration or you got a customer that's paying for that stuff, in the advanced color settings menu, We've got all your biases and your gains and your offsets for the primary colors. We don't give you secondary options, uh, but uh, we've had some guys that are calibrating these things uh, on a regular basis uh, that quite frankly feel like, you know, uh, we can get 99.9% .9 of the where we want to be just with the primary colors on your TV. Typically, we don't need the secondary offsets or the secondary colors to get there. So there is no sub-menu that you need to get into to find this. Again, it's in the color menu of the TV. It's not hidden. It's right there uh, for you guys to access, again, if you're using it. As far as clarity goes, you know, your sharpness, totally up to you where you guys are at there. But I would encourage you guys, again, to get most out of the TV. And if you're going to use this at all, the only mode that I think it's really... Uh, Handy or useful with this set is the uh, true cinema mode. So if your customers are watching Blu-ray content or watching movies that are in 24p, the television can detect that frame rate and will actually do dark frame insertion to smooth out some of the 24p judder that you see on uh, from some movies or some content. Uh, however, if it sees a 60p signal like we're looking at here, it doesn't affect the video signal or it doesn't affect the display at all. It won't do any dark frame insertion. Um, aside from that, you know, there's not a whole lot else here that I can dig into or show you on the set as far as a, a picture standpoint goes.